All right, so what is up everybody on YouTube? This is Bullet RC coming to you guys with a special video today. First off, this is the Comloop sponsored haul, so I want to give a big shout out to the people over at Comloop, the Comloop rep team doing their job, and as well as my man Matt for hitting me up. Just everyone at Comloop or anyone, who, whoever discovered me, you know, thank you for actually reaching out to me and saying, hey, um, dude does quality videos, let's hit him up, let's see what he, if he wants to do one, and I really do appreciate the opportunity, so let's go ahead and hop into it. I don't want to talk you guys' heads off, so let's go ahead and get into the pieces that I did get from Comloop once again. Alright y'all, so for the first two pieces, it is two pieces from the brand Sir. I want to thank you guys on that because I did not know what it was called, so that's what I got you guys for in the comment box, as well as Ermies, because it's not Hermes, it's Ermies. Thanks to you again. Um, <laughs> so look, as you guys can see, I'm just going to lean in and show the hat really fast so I'm not like going like this, like I'm trying to take a picture of some for IG. As you guys can see, green underbill on this one or under brim. It's basically a regular snapback. You got your SSUR on the front or Sir, you know, whichever one you want to go with. You got Sir on the side as well as Sir right here on the T. All this matches up, but there is nothing on the back. It's just a regular black, white, and red snap. To get into the shirt though, I did not know this shirt was actually 3M. Um, you have black, not the whole shirt, but black with 3M printing on it. I did want to note that this is a size medium. If you guys watched my last haul, I did have a size large and I prefer the large over the medium just because this one I can fit in, it, it, it fits, but it just it's a little bit too fitting for me. This fits more like a, like a like a muscle shirt or something like that, like I'm about to wear it to the gym, which I'm not gonna do. Um, so yeah, I prefer the large fit in this. If you guys didn't know, about six, six, six foot, six foot one, 180, 185, as I always say. As you guys can see, it's 3M printing on the front of this one as well as the back. And um, since it is 3M, I thought that the perfect shoe to go with this would be the 5 Lap 3. Um, either one of the colorways, the all more so blackish colorway or the silver colorway, I mean black cement threes, white cement threes, um, black and gray, very universal shirt, very easy to match as well as the hat too, very easy to go with whatever. Anyways, let's hop into the next piece. All right, y'all, so next up we have this staple button down, switching up a little bit. Um, as you guys can see, it's an all over print and I really like staple. Um, it's definitely a brand that I don't have a lot of, but I definitely do like the brand. I do like the products that they have, especially the button downs. This one is a size medium and I think it fits me great. Um, it's not short, like too short on the size. Like sometimes um, brands like, you know, you gotta watch out for button downs because it's a particular fit with them. Depending on how tall you are, what your build is like. Um, just because I like mine to fit, but I don't like them to be too short. And that's something I can run into sometimes, so it's not too short on the size, as you guys can see. Um, and it's just an overall nice button down. I really like the patterns on this. The patterns, cut, you know, carry throughout the whole shirt. So, I mean, if you guys want to see the back, it's basically the same thing as the front. Um, some other cool little details on this as well is that I did look at this and the buttons are like wood, like they're wooden buttons all over, um, either lasered or etched with a uh, staple in them. And then there's two smaller buttons at the bottom that are actually dyed blue to match the darker blue side of this shirt. I really do like it. It's very versatile and just to switch gears again on y'all a little bit. I don't know if you guys know, but Carmeloop does also offer Clarks. Um, I have ordered, I basically ordered all my Clarks off of uh, Carmeloop. I have about three pairs. I ordered these from Carmeloop itself. I ordered these from a Clarks um, outlet store when I was down in Florida. And then I actually have another pair of Clarks, that actually a, a blue camo pair that I did a fit for a long time ago. But yeah, just to switch it up a bit, some Clarks I could go with this as well as just an all white pair of Hirachis, a pair of nice denim, um, anything like that. It's really easy to match with. Let's get on to the next piece. All right, y'all, so for this next piece, I have a Dark Seas tee. Now, I am no new person to Dark Seas. I have ordered some stuff from them a long time ago, so I said, why not go ahead and throw them into this haul? So as you guys can see, it's an all-black t-shirt. This is a size medium, and it says Dark Seas right here in black and red, their own little kind of sea, weird little, like, bloodish type print, I'm not sure. But I really bought this because of the back. If you guys didn't know, my favorite animal is shark, so, on the back, as you guys see, you got your big shark, dark seas as well, basically in that same print. Black, red, and white with a little bit of pinkish on the tongue. So, 
I thought that a good shoe to go with these would be the Air Jordan Raptor 7. Now this is the 2002 pair. I've had these for a while. Some of you guys probably didn't even know I had this shoe. Um, it's just that I don't really wear it that much because since it is an older shoe, um, there has been some toe separation or some toe cap separation on the front. But uh, yeah, I thought this would be a great um, shoe to go with it. It's not exactly... Um, the same colors but guys as I told you before if you're trying to match color to color you're gonna end up pulling hair out like just you know you don't have to match color to color and that's something that I definitely used to struggle with and now I'm getting a lot better with things like that anyways let's go ahead and get into the next piece all right y'all so two quick pieces I wouldn't really wear these together but um I do have this bucket hat right here from play clothes I really like this hat the only thing is I bought mine in a large and I think I should just got the small so I went ahead and ordered another small this is a really cool hat in my opinion I really like the print and um, I was really hoping that there was either a shirt or maybe a snap or a strap back in the same print. But I think all it is is a uh, like a baseball tee with the same print on the sleeves. I really do like this hat though. It's basically a black, it's like an eggnogish color. It's an off white, um, just with birds and stuff over like crows and ravens and stuff. I don't know. I really liked it. So that is the hat I have on. This right here is a Crooks and Castles tank. I did get this one in size medium. It does fit a little bit slim in the size to me. Um, it is a kind of cut and sew um, S type thing because they are mixing mesh with cotton. You get your mesh paneling down here. You got your cotton. And you got more mesh with Crooks printed on. That carries around the whole, the whole tank and it's basically like a jersey tank one thing i do really like about this tank though is that at the bottom it does feature the cuts like a jersey so it's not like tight at the bottom it's some you got room to room you got room to move is what i'm trying to say and it just looks better i like when it has that jersey ending on the bottom anyways let's hop into the next piece all right so guys as you can see these are the printed huff shorts it's basically a black and white um, mesh basketball short by Huff. You can see Huff on this side as well as Huff on this side. No back pockets but pockets on the sides. A big trend that I noticed right before summer came around was the sweat shorts, printed shorts. As you can see I have another pair of sweat shorts right here that I wore in a spring fits video. I had never broken on the side. I got these for about 11 bucks. Um, this is before they got real popular so I got these for 11 bucks on Plunder. I lucked up on those. I have these as well. These are the Crooks and Castles ones. Um, these ones go for about I think 50 or 60 60, but it's definitely a dope printed short. It's a way to dress like, you know, like say for instance you just want to run out somewhere. It's a way to have some, some it's a little flair to your, your outfit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to just wear regular basketball shorts. You want to wear some hump shorts, dark blue tee. It's just something a little different. I have these as well. These are sweat shorts. These are not mesh. These are from Dope Couture. These ones were mesh right here. And just, yeah, just printed shorts, uh, sweat shorts, anything like that is going to run you a little bit more. But I think you get what you get what you pay for. It's basically you can look cozy but still look stylish at the same time. Anyways, next piece. Alright, so guys, these are some crooks and capsule shorts. Some of the my favorite shorts that I do own. Um, I got mine in size large. I usually wear a 33 to a 34 in jeans. As you guys can see, it's basically an all-over printed shorts. Um, very, very nice. I can still move in them. Very breathable. They're they are mesh, just an all-over printed mesh. They got like some Roman some Greek or something going on here some like battle I don't know they got side pockets as well in these drawstring of course if you want to tie them up and then on the back you can see there's more of that pattern all over um, that picture whatever it is and then you also have your YKK zips on this um, zipper pocket back here you have a little Crooks and Castles tag there as well so you just guys can see the actual all over picture print whatever you want to call it, on these shorts um, I did take an Instagram photo wearing a 10 deep t-shirt with like the maps um, Not the whole map print not that one But there's like another one with a small little bit of maps on it these shorts and the infrared 11s That was a definitely a good fit definitely a very cozy team cozy or whatever uh, shout out to style file and um, These as well. I did wear these when I was down in Miami I wore these shorts with the supreme foams and it was it was all right. It was straight um, but anyways guys that is it for these shorts. Let's get on to the next piece All right, so guys of course, you know me So I had to end this haul off with some type of tin deep in here somewhere It had to be somewhere so for this last piece This is another gray tin deep hoodie as well as this is a size medium You guys know how I like to fit on these um, Just so you guys can see it is the dashiki hoodie um, that's not the like official name, but as you guys know, I call the shirt the dashiki shirt. So this is the dashiki hoodie. It's an all gray hoodie. I needed a gray hoodie, and it's just a nice blend of colors. I really like the print they used on it. You know, just wrapping around the whole thing. This print on the bottom actually goes through the pocket, so it's actually inside the pockets as well. Just to show you guys the back, as you can see, you got more of that print all over it. 
Is there some on the hood? Uh, yeah, there's print on the hood as well. I didn't even know that. So if you guys want to go ahead and throw your hood on, you still got some on the hood as well. Um, so yeah, that's about it for this one, guys. I just want to say thank you to everyone, all the supporters, anyone out there just, you know, that comments, that comments ever, that likes ever, that just, you know, shows that support. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to check out Calm Loop, definitely go down in the link below. There's a link there. Just click that link and go over there. You know, let them know that I got some support over here. Anyways, guys, that is about it. And, um, I'm just, I'm a, bro, what? let me get in this video, man. You want to get in the video? Hey, yeah, let me get, all right, what in this. Go ahead. Hi. How are you supposed to move in here, bro? Clean your room. Oh my god, this junk is trashy. Y'all can't see this trash in here. Anyways, look, man, follow Bull or whatever. I know you didn't get to finish this intro. Follow Bull on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. But you know what? Bull ain't gonna say this, so I'm gonna say it for him. You know, my man got haters talking about this, this, and that. Tell me how to do his videos, but y'all ain't got no videos, no subscribers, just no content at all, you know? But that's none of my business, though. This tea is hitting right now. Almost as hitting as that Smirnoff was, right, Bull? But that's none of my business, though, either. Bruh.